Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Felici Friday. Hopefully you guys all had a good week. We always love Friday, even in the middle of the stay at home order. Although I feel like maybe the governor in Michigan told us now we can get together with like 10 or fewer people as long as we're social distancing. I think that's what um, I heard yesterday. So I haven't really partook of that yet, but that's all right. Hopefully you guys are all good. Hey, Susan. Hey, Charlene. I feel like I'm Philomena. I think I saw you pop on there too. Hey, Nancy. Thanks, guys. Uh, hello, Susie. Yay. I'm so glad everybody's finding me. Well, good morning. Good morning. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Uh, yeah. Hey, Wanda. Hello. Welcome. So glad you guys can join us. So yeah, it's funny. I'm like, I have nothing new to report, right? <laughs> it's usually I kind of chat for a couple minutes about whatever's been going on in life while people are popping out. I'm like, there's nothing new around here. So yeah, I guess I will probably just kind of jump right in and get started. But thank you guys. You got all these um, funny emojis. I love them. Thank you so much. <laughs> so cute. So yeah, if you have not joined me before for Facebook Live, either on the live or later watching on Facebook or on YouTube, welcome. So glad you can join me for Ferlici Friday. We are going to uh, demonstrate two projects with Normally I can pick up our product of the week, but this week I could not decide. So I went with all retiring designer series paper as our product of the week because we have so much beautiful paper in, and I kind of went back and focused more on uh, designer series paper from the annual catalog. So from the, you guys are all super familiar, right? With this catalog, right? Our retiring um, annual catalog, the 2019-20 catalog. Hello, Roseanne. So yeah, I, this is just kind of a quick little swatch view of all of our retiring designer series paper. I know that the Magnolia Lane paper already sold out, but I did see there's like kind of a mega pack that has like half of these patterns in it that is still available. So if you love the Magnolia Lane paper, you can still get it. You get even more sheets, just not quite as much variety. Um, hello, Miss Sharon. And then what else? We've got actually two more pages. So all of this paper is retiring and then all of this. Hello, Christine. Welcome. Hey, Debbie. All of this paper is retiring as well. I don't think there's one paper. Every once in a while, there's like one package of designer series paper that carries over. This year, not even one of them is carrying over. So make sure you get um, all of that paper while you still can. I haven't checked the report since yesterday morning now that I think about it, but hello, Monica. Thank you so much for sharing too. Hello, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, but if you want the paper, just go and order it at ASAP, right? Because now like the clock is completely winding down on things. The other thing I will tell you is to know that today, May 22nd is the last day that Stampin' Up! is guaranteeing that you can get um, stamp sets. So after tonight at midnight, Salt Lake City time, if you put an order in, maybe you can get the stamp set and maybe you can't, but right now through the end of the day today, they're guaranteeing that you can get any stamp set that we sell. So <laughs> yes, you have lots of paper. Yay, I know, hello Maria, yay. Yes, you can join me for the live. I know usually you watch over the weekend. So awesome, awesome, so fun to have everybody on here. I love all the eyeballs. Um, yeah, oh my gosh, and you received your gems. Okay, good, Debbie, awesome. Yeah, uh, good, Those, that was really fast actually, which is kind of unbelievable these days. So awesome, that's awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, so I've completely lost my train of thought. Um, okay, yeah, so we talked about the product of the week, all the things that are retiring. Oh, yeah, so then after tonight at midnight, um, everything is only while supplies last in terms of availability of retiring product. So, and you guys, I say it every single week, I feel like, um, but there's always somebody that misses out on something that they wanted. Um, good, Susan, so you got a bunch of stamp sets before um, they went away. So yeah, just just don't wait, just put your orders in. Use the host code that I'll give you. Actually, that's buried somewhere underneath there. I'll have to make sure to find that. It's always on my blog, though, too, at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Okay. So, and actually speaking of that, the projects that we demonstrate right here on Facebook Live will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. I actually like up um, 
when the video is all done, I can go back and edit this video. So up at the top of this video, there's a description and I put the links for everything that I talked about in today's video, including the link to the blog post that gives you all the item codes, product numbers, uh, dimensions, colors, all of that for the projects that we're going to make this, uh, this afternoon, this morning. I don't even know <laughs> what day, what time, like it all runs together these days, right? So yeah, so check that out if you need more info, if you miss anything on the live. Um, what else? What else? Well, you guys know, right? I always offer, uh, you get the projects that I demonstrate. So for example, anybody that put an online order in last week of at least $30 is going to get these two projects, either the completed cards or the make and takes. I always email you and say, hey, what would you like? Do you want the completed cards? Do you want the make and takes? Um, your name is also going to go into a drawing that we'll do in a little while. And if you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from either the May Demo Design Dream Team PDF, PDF tutorial or the free package of pearls. This is our free embellishment for the month. So either one of these you get for free with your $50 order. Hello, Miss Pam. Glad you can join us. So lots of fun stuff, um, lots of giveaways. I love to do that as my thank you for your online orders, especially right now when I cannot be down at the stamp studio doing my regular live classes. I'm really kind of surviving on your online order. So I truly appreciate really, truly every single online order that you're able to make through me. So thank you very much. Um, okay, let's see. Did I say, I think I'm, I think I'm good with all that, right? Um, what is next? Oh, we've got so much good stuff to tell you guys about. So I finally got myself together um, because I do this every single year and I'm super duper duper excited to tell you guys about the In Color Club. So if you love all of our new In Colors, right? We've got Magenta Madness, uh, Cinnamon Cider. Hey Barb, glad you could join us. Uh, Just Jade, I think I've got these names down, Bumblebee and Misty Moonlight. That blue looks kind of, it's, it's a dusty blue. Anyway, so if you love these five in colors and you wanna get all of the product in these in colors, I have the deal for you, right? I call it the in color club. And you basically one month, well, for five months, you get everything in one of the colors. So for example, maybe the first month, your month is, um, hey, Lori, how are you? So glad you could join us. Good morning, good morning. Say so for example, the first month in June, your um, color is Magenta Madness. So you would get all of the product that we have in Magenta Madness, which is that full pack of cardstock, okay? You get the ink pad, you get the ink refill, you get the full bolt, all 10 yards of the twill ribbon, you get the stamp and write marker, you get the two blends that come in that color, and I am also going to put in there the, um, I think it's four sheets. So this is our In Color Designer Series paper. Kind of fan this out a little bit. So these are the kind of colors and patterns. I might have to pull that out so you guys can see. Um, hey, Rosemary, glad, oh yeah, we're just gonna pull this right out of here. So you would get all of the Magenta Madness Designer Series paper. So these are six by six, you can see some polka dots. And then this is teeny tiny like typewriter writing that might even be upside down, I do not know. Then on the back side, it's like kind of a wood grain, it can go that way or that way, probably wood grows that way, right? And then just kind of a textured look. So all of our new designer series paper, this is the package of the new in color paper, right? But all of our paper is in these patterns now. So the brights, regals, subtles, neutrals, and both of the in color packs, these are the patterns of paper in there, okay? <laughs> you, yeah, oh, that's funny, Pam. <laughs> You're saying to Rosemary, her daughter, I beat you here. <laughs> that's cute, that's cute. Um, yes, so you get, I, sorry, I get off on my tangents, but yeah, in your, um, say Magenta Madness is your color, you're gonna get um, all sheets of the Magenta Madness designer series paper as well. So eight pieces. It is $47 per month to get all of that product in Magenta Madness one color, and then the next month you'd get Bumblebee, and then Just Jade, and then Misty Moonlight, and then, um, what am I missing, Cinnamon Cider. Okay, so if that makes sense. So we go June, July, August, September, and October. Um, 
Also, if you need it shipped to you, it's $8 additional because I send it priority mail shipping to you. The fun part is one month you are the host of the In Color Club and you get the free embellishment, um, which is the new In Color enamel dots that I forgot to bring over here, but they're super cute. I think I showed them last week in all of our In Colors and you also get to pick $20 in free stuff whatever you want, okay? So if you are interested in the In Color Club, I will again include the link in um, kind of the, the title or description of this YouTube video or the Facebook Live video. I also have um, details on my blog and I've been posting about it right here on our Facebook group too. Emailing, I've been trying to send it in all forms of communication. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you want the links, you want more info, I'm happy to get it to you. So just send me a message and I would be happy to do that. But the fun thing is I am I'm going to start ordering so we can start ordering from everything in the catalog on June 3rd, right? Let me, I don't know why I cannot get that date in my brain, but I have to look. So on the catalog, yep, June 3rd is the first day that we can order from our new next annual catalog. Hey, Jamie. So I will be putting that first In Color Club order in on June 3rd. And what I was thinking is if I get enough um, people to participate in the In Color Club, um, I'm going to expedite. I'm going to pay that extra $20 shipping so I don't have to wait two weeks to get the order. It only takes two days. So I'll be able to get everything sorted and packed and shipped out to you like super fast. So if you would like to participate in the In Color Club, let me know. I have PayPal links I can send you. That's probably the easiest way to get you signed up and paid each month. Okay. And you don't prepay, like you don't have to pay for all five months at once at once. You can just pay the $47 per month, um, like right at the very beginning of the month. Okay. Uh, yeah, so let me know. I mean, like I said, awesome, awesome colors, right? The in colors right here, all of our fun in colors. You want to get everything in these colors, let me know, okay? Um, and then also, I am going to be doing a designer series paper share too, and I've been emailing and posting about that as well. So same kind of thing, I'm gonna put that first designer series paper share order in on the third, hopefully expedite it so I can get it back and get everything cut and packed and prepped and sent out to you. Um, I think I have, it's funny, didn't I? I think I gave myself details here, yes. So the designer series paper share is, and I can't show you in the catalog yet, um, but we have 14 new packs of designer series paper. Most of it is 12 by 12. A couple of packs are six by six pieces. So you basically get a quarter of a pack of all 14 packs of designer series paper. But the one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna include, so this is the, these, these again are the um, in color papers, but I'm gonna include, um, a sampler, I don't wanna say this, basically of the brights, regals, subtles, and neutrals are part of those 14 packs of paper, and you're gonna get one of each, so we're actually gonna get a half a pack of each of those packs of designer series paper. So you get, because we have 20 colors and we only get, I'm sorry, 10 colors and we only get two of each, so I'm gonna give you one of each of the patterns in the colors of each of those. So you'll get like a sample of literally everything in the catalog, the designer series paper. And then I'm actually gonna throw in for free a, um, a quarter pack of the in color designer series paper from last year. I'm not gonna do this year's in colors because I want you to get these from your in color club orders, right? But I'm gonna throw in the 2019-21 in colors. I'm gonna give you that for free, a sampler of that if you order the designer series paper share, okay? Um, that is $65 to get, again, get basically a quarter of a pack of all of our designer series paper in the catalog and then it's actually a half a pack of the Brights, Regals, Settles, and Neutrals paper, okay? If you need it shipped to you, it's $73 because it's $8 additional to priority mail shipping. That gives me insurance and tracking, so in case there's some kind of a problem, um, I can file that with the post office, okay? So, and again, links will be in the details here if you want to participate in the designer series paper share, okay? The paper is beautiful. I have gotten my hands on everything that I could so far, and it's gorgeous. I should be showing you guys that too. But I have so much to show you still, um, yeah, I didn't bring it over, so we'll have to do that next time, okay? Um, 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 all right, I think we are good. I'm always like reviewing, gotta make sure. Yep, okay. 
So let's do our first drawing. We want to, oh, actually, you know what? While I'm looking down, oh, you know what? I do need to tell you guys about a couple of things too. So, cause I didn't do a very good job of marketing this. Um, so I had said I was gonna do a drawing for anybody that posted a project using any of our retiring designer series papers. Again, our product of the week. Um, and I didn't do a very good job of advertising for it. So I'm gonna extend it for another week, okay? So if you have, a, it doesn't even have to be one that you are just making. Any project that you have that you have made with any of our retiring designer series papers in either the annual catalog or the spring mini catalog, post it right here on our Facebook group and your name is gonna go in a drawing next week for a fun prize. So I wanna highlight all the beautiful designer series paper that's going away, because I wanna make sure you get it while you still can, right? Okay, so I just didn't want you to think I was skipping over that. Um, I have some entries in the drawing already, and hopefully we'll have lots more as people share um, projects that they've made with retiring designer series paper throughout the week. Um, share up until next Thursday night, and your name will go in the drawing, okay? Um, oh, and then the other thing too, I, th I think I've mentioned this and, and then I was like, maybe I haven't yet, but I think I've kind of alluded to it at least. Um, the snail adhesive is retiring, so the snail and the refill, and I think it's called Stamp and Seal. We're coming out with a new adhesive in the new catalog starting on June 3rd. But I, I know I love snails, so I've been stocking, stocking up on my refills. So if you need refills, let me know. Um, I have, like I said, I've been stocking up and I can keep ordering more and more um, up until, you know, we can't order anymore when it retires on June 2nd. So make sure either order that online and use the host code or let me know and I can get some ordered for you. But I wanna make sure everybody has their stockpile if they need it, okay? Uh, okay, those were like my random things. Now I gotta get back to what I was planning to do. Okay, let's do our first drawing. That's what I was gonna plan to do next. So we are drawing for these four handmade cards. They might be sideways or upside down, I'm not really sure. If you signed up for my email list, if you have not done that yet, or if you shared the Facebook Live video. So, and thank you, I so appreciate your shares of the video. Anytime between now and next Thursday, and your name will go on the next drawing. But these were for last Friday through Thursday night, anybody that shared last week's video. And I've got to, thank you, Susan. I'm glad you like those cards. Okay, it's all about the paper too, honestly. It's lots of pretty designer series paper. Although most of it's celebration paper that we don't have anymore, so. Okay, here we go. First one, they actually kind of, they match with my shirt though, don't they? Look, I didn't really plan that, but I feel like my shirt kind of coordinates nicely <laughs> with, with those cards. Okay, so here we go, first drawing. And the lucky winner of those four free handmade cards is Miss Susan. Susan, and I want to say your name. Is it Feliciano Pacheco? That's how I'm going to say it. Hopefully that's close. But Miss Susan, congratulations. You are the winner of the handmade card. So that's so funny. You just said how pretty. And then there you go. It was like karma right there, I think. So how fun. All right, congratulations, Susan. I will get those cards sent out to you. All right, we got to dump those names out and get ready for the next one. Um, also, I wanted to tell you guys what we're going to give away. <laughs> I love all your hearts. That's cute, Susan. Uh, this week, we are going to give away. So again, if you share the video or sign up for my email list, if you haven't done that already, your name is going to go into the drawing to win these beautiful, these are the petal pink rhinestones and you can see they've got lots of fun um uh what do i want to say shapes to them yeah they're like beautiful i don't know can you get the they're that real soft pretty pink anyway this is what we will give away on next week's facebook live if you share the video and sign up for my email list okay uh oh eh, okay the e fe, okay i'm gonna have to work on that but i'm not gonna do it <laughs> i'm not gonna do it on the live because i'll probably embarrass myself <laughs> All right, I will work on that. Thank you, Susan. Okay, scooting this stuff out of the way. Let's see. Oh, I know. I have to tell you guys, we had a couple of 
my team, my Inkspired Stampers team, and I would love for any of you, if you're thinking about getting lots of product um, from the new annual catalog, get the starter kit, ladies. I would love for you to get the starter kit and become an Inkspired Stamper and be a part of our group because we have the most amazing group of ladies. We actually did our group meeting earlier this week on a Facebook Live since we can't meet at the studio, and we always do it on Facebook Live anyway. So even if you're like long distance, you can still be a part of things um, through the Facebook Live, and we have a separate Facebook group where we interact um, very well on there as well. So it's a great kind of community to be a part of. In addition to this regular gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio group, we have our Inspired Stampers Facebook group as well. But anyway, so I have to give congratulations. We had two people that reached awesome milestones like just in the last week. So first of all, I want to congratulate Miss Pamela Huntley because she reached what is called Qualified Recruit Status, which is $900 in sales, and she will receive a $25 shopping spree for me as a congratulations for reaching that milestone. So yay, congratulations, Miss Pam. And then Sally McLennan went the next step up, which is Bronze Elite, which is $1,800 in sales. And she now gets 25% off of all of her orders. So instead of the standard 20% that you get when you first buy the starter kit, the 20% discount, now she gets a 25% discount, or she earns 25% income on everything that she sells. She also gets, uh, I think, like 5,000 flex points from Stampin' Up! And I give her a $50 shopping spree for promoting to Bronze Elite. So congratulations to Sally as well. We, we've just been having this my group is doing so well this year and I'm just so excited and so proud of every single one of them so <laughs> oh funny I'm getting a text message so Erin is texting she's one of my expert stampers she says I got my catalog today and somehow she got her paper pumpkin kit the day before I got mine and we live like not very far from each other at all so um, yeah, maybe I'll get my catalog tomorrow. I've literally been checking my mailbox every single day and like doing a little temper tantrum when <laughs> that silly catalog is not in there. I ordered a bunch of catalogs, so all my boxes of catalogs came, so at least I have a catalog. And speaking of that, if you do not have a catalog and you would like me to send you a catalog, I would be happy to do that, so just let me know. Um, I would love to get a catalog out to you because I finally got to sit down last weekend. I've been wanting to for, I don't know however, however long I've had the catalogs, but I finally got a chance to sit down and like just from A to Z, beginning to end, I read through the entire catalog. So that was so fun. I love to do that. All the tips and comments and details and everything in there. So I'm feeling, um, although I don't ever retain, <laughs> I make lots of notes so I can go back through and like look at things, but I'm like, I was going to say, yeah, I feel like I know everything, but no. <laughs> I, I knew everything, but I forgot a lot of it too. So, <laughs> And Susan, yes, bingo is this week on Wednesday. I cannot wait for bingo either. We're going to have lots of fun playing bingo online. And I was thinking I'm going to have to announce another online bingo. We'll do that um, maybe in July or so, I'm thinking. Um, we'll get another online bingo on the books too. So if you missed out on that this this week or this month, you can uh, participate with us next time. So, okay. All right, let's do, we're going to do our next drawing which again is if someone put an online order in last week of at least $30, they're definitely gonna get these two cards from me and their name is in the drawing to win. This is the Regals Designer Series Paper Packs. You can see a couple of the colors in there. This is what I was trying to say and I fumbled through it earlier, but, and you can kind of tell from here actually, that you get two, well it's four sheets, but here I'll give you the example. So this is Shaded Spruce. So these are the old, so don't fall in love with these patterns because most of these are sold out, right? But so there's this two, two and two there, and then the backside two and two. So back in my paper share, I'm gonna give everybody a half a pack. So you're gonna get one of each of these, but in the new colors and new designs. So that'll be fun, right? And that's also what you'll get in the designer series paper. Well, yeah, designer series paper share and the in color club too. So, but again, the new patterns, these are the old patterns. But this is what we're gonna give away today. If you put your online order in of at least $30, I've got your names in here and thank you. Like I said, this is kind of helping me sustain my business right now truly is with these online orders. So I truly appreciate that every single order. So thank you. Um, okay, so here we're gonna do our drawing for the Regal's Designer Series paper. And the winner, I, I 
shake, oh, shake them, baby, shake them, right? Okay, I've got one, one in my hand, and it is Miss Vina Gomez. All right, congratulations, Vina. I will get the Regals Designer Series paper sent out to you. Okay, scoop that one over there. All right, we don't need that anymore. Okay, so I have one more pack of Designer Series paper. I have like had this stash, apparently, of this paper to give away. So this week, it is the Brights designer series paper pack that we will give away free those are a couple of the um colors patterns in there this is free with your online order of at least thirty dollars your name will go in the drawing to get the brights this time designer series paper pack i know this one is already sold out um you'll also get the projects that we demonstrate in just a little while so thank you for the share susan i appreciate that okay so we will do that on next week's facebook live we'll draw for that okay oh my gosh i have too many notes on here <laughs> All right, I don't think I need any of those right now. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah. Okay. We're actually I'm doing pretty well. I was thinking I had a lot more to tell you guys about. Um, quick reminder, actually, today, 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 today is the last day to sign up for the beautiful friendship class to go. So you would make two of each of these projects. I'm just gonna kind of flash them up here real quick because they are beautiful. That might be completely upside down. It is, that one goes that way, and that one is upside down too, and then that one is there. There, you can't see that very well. Anyway, beautiful, gorgeous, amazing cards. If you already have the stamp set, pick option number two, and that gets you all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these projects. I will include the link in um, the details of the YouTube video here to sign up for the class to go, but make sure you do it by midnight tonight because I'm gonna put my last order in tomorrow so we can get everything we need for everybody to put these kits together, okay? All right, so I'm looking around. I think we're good. Okay, so turn your heads away for a quick moment, all right? We're gonna fly through the air and I have some more fun stuff to show you and then we're gonna do some stamping, but I wanted to put the camera down so you guys can see better here. You guys are so sweet, all your congratulations. Okay, let's see, how are we doing? Okay, flipping. Okay, all right, we actually look pretty decent there. <laughs> you guys are so fun, okay. Now I'm gonna check my other little notes one more time. I think I've mentioned, but I thought I would just say this again. If you guys ever need to get a hold of me, you can call or text me. My phone number is 989-330-0259. And always leave a message because I'm not always able to get to my phone or texting, obviously you're leaving a message, okay? It should be, um, my phone number is included at the bottom of every single email I send to. So if you ever need any help, especially putting online orders in, I know, if you don't do that much, it can kind of be a pain in the butt sometimes. So, okay. All right, I think we are good. So, yeah, I wanted to kind of show you guys. So, again, to highlight our product of the week and all of our retiring designer series paper. Let's see if we can do this, right? Okay, good. So I've got the catalog here. So, and I'm not even going to tease you. I had Magnolia Lane cards with that paper, but since it's pretty much sold out, I'm not even gonna tease you with those. So let's start, I'm gonna kinda, I have them organized at least by um, color. Oh look, that was actually the same pattern of paper. I didn't even realize that. This was a swap, both of these I think are swaps that I received from Carrie Todd, and I don't know if this one has. I feel like this was maybe one of my, hey Nikki, you popped on. This might have been um, from a downline meeting. One of our inspired stampers made this card, but this features the Follow Your Art Designer Series paper. So again, retiring pack of paper, get that while you still can, right? Then we have, and I know I have more of these, but I don't know where they went to. I ran down to the studio and tried to pick up um, anything that had retiring paper. So this is the cute Dino Roar Designer Series paper. So you can see the fun dinosaurs on that one. Also retiring, right? Then I have a slew of these. This is the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper. So you can see some beautiful examples. This is kind of a fun fold, I think, too. Yeah, look at that, huh? Isn't that, oh, we're gonna we have to make that. So Susan, now I'm like, which DSP were you talking about? So here's another one. Obviously, I like the stripes. This was another. And there is another one. So beautiful, the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper. Again, get it while you still can, ladies. Okay, I'm gonna file those back 
Nope, I'm going to toss them. I'm going to make a big mess for myself, <laughs> I think. I don't know. what's That might be a pain in the butt, too. Okay, um, what do we have next? We have a couple of the, this is the Mosaic Mood, and I love, look at that paper, right? The Mosaic Mood designer series paper. People were cutting those out. I did that on a card, too. Now it's making me think, where are all those cards? Who knows, right? Mosaic Mood. Then we have... Oh, this is all, this is back over here, I believe, the Woven Threads designer series paper, that little, and this one featured all of our in colors, um, the 2019-21 in colors, the Pretty Peacock, Purple Posy, Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray, and Terracotta Tile. So there's your Purple Posy. This one is pretty too, isn't it, right? Hey, Kathy, how are you doing? We're just kind of going through all of the retiring designer series paper. So you guys can see here are some examples again of the woven threads designer series paper, right? Another beautiful pack of paper there. I'm going to miss, this is like going down memory lane, like so many of these. They're so pretty. Okay, we've got a bunch of this one. This is back over here, the bird ballad designer series paper. This was a super popular one. So there's that one, and a lot of them have the birdies on there too, right? Isn't that pretty? And then you've got the stripes, I'm pretty sure, yep, the stripes on the back side there. Are lots of kind of floral and feathers, and then that one kind of looks like birds flying or something almost, right? This one's super pretty. <laughs> I know, we're always so sad, aren't we, Philomena, that they're not carrying over, right? Similar look there too, and then those also, right? So beautiful, beautiful. But you guys are gonna love the new designer series paper too. That's what, you know, after a while, I, I'm sad because I haven't looked at this in a while. I focused so much on, say, the um, designer series paper in the spring mini catalog that I've kind of neglected this paper. So it's kind of fun to get back, take another quick peek at it, right? Okay, so I've got one more stack here to show you guys. So again, make sure you get this while you can, right? Okay, scooting that up there. We have, this one is the Perennial Essence. This beautiful, I kind of think it looks like Monet paintings there. <laughs> yes, you're right, Kathy. You have to trust that the new will be beautiful too. And it is, I promise. I promise. I'm going to miss these. I loved these little perennial essence centers because they, don't they, they look, well, it's hard to see in this light, but they look, they look so real, like they're like pollinated or there's pollen in there or something. I think it's the dusty kind of color behind there. So there's, but focus again on the paper too, the Perennial Essence Designer Series paper. Very, very pretty pack of paper, right? Look at all of those beautiful, the shades, right? That one, and that might even be the same paper right there and there, but you can see, apparently I really did like those. I did not make all of these. Many of these are swaps, I should have mentioned that. Um, some of them are cards we've made in class or even on Facebook Live, um, and some of them are swaps that I had received. And I mailed, um, I participated in another swap. So excited, I will be getting those cards can't remember when, but it's pretty quick turnaround time. So hopefully I will have them the beginning of June, maybe the first week or so in June, I'm thinking. Okay, so let's see. Oh, this is actually now kind of move on from, well, let's move this over here because I might still want to um, have that out, right? But these are, well, actually this one is still from the annual catalog. This is some of the Noble Peacock Designer Series paper. So can there, now you can see that beautiful foily detail that we used on the Inspiring Iris class to go last month. Then, okay, back to our spring mini catalog. This is the Poppy, the Peaceful Poppies designer series paper. This one was super duper popular. Oops, that's upside down, but that's okay. There we go. Yeah, so the beautiful Poppy paper. I, oh, that one's upside down too. I guess it doesn't really matter, right? But I feel like this is still available. I don't think there's too much that's sold out of our spring mini catalog yet. A couple, like a handful of things. And then, oops, it's sticking. Some of the, why can I not? This is the golf paper. I'm totally drawing a blank on the name of this paper. Well, hey, Betty, how are you? I'm so glad that you can join us. We're just kind of going over all of the retiring designer series paper. So yeah, what is this? I don't know, I can't remember. Anyway, but um, I love, um, yeah, I grew up in a golf family, so this kind of, I think we made this card way back when on Facebook Live for my dad for his birthday. 
Yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, one. I have one right now. I know I have more, but this is the Tropical oh, wait, Country Club. Yes, this is the Country Club. Thank you, Sharon, the Country Club. That makes sense. Yes, that makes sense that that's what it's called. Um, this is the Tropical Oasis Designer Series paper. Beautiful. This is like the Hawaii. This is, um, yeah, documenting a Hawaii trip, right? And then this is some of the... Oh my gosh, I am totally drawing a blank. I think I'm, I've like cleared my brain with the old names and I'm trying to figure out the new names. But <laughs> anyway, this is the kind of Valentine-y paper in the spring mini catalog. This was a fun fold too. I think we maybe did this one on a Facebook Live also. I can't quite, oh no, you know what? Maybe this was, um... <laughs> sorry, it's all blending together. Um, this one was actually um, from my Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. I think I made that one month. Yeah, but beautiful. Love that paper too, right? And then the Parisian, the Parisian Beauty or Blossoms Designer Series paper. Those are a couple of patterns of that. Again, more retiring paper. And then last one, this is the Best Dressed, some of my most favorite patterns. I know I have a bunch of these too, but so you can see my point. There's a lot of good designer series paper in our spring mini and annual catalogs. So don't miss out. Get it while you still can. Okay. If you go to, if you're wondering, how do I find the names of these things or order them? If you go to stampinup.com up in the top right corner, there's a button that says shop now. Click on that. And then over on the right hand side, there's kind of like a list of things. And one of them says designer series paper. If you click on that, it'll give you all of the paper that is still available. And actually, I should have mentioned a lot of it is even on sale right now, too. I've been trying to highlight that on our Facebook group all week long, too. So check that out. Lots of good deals to be had on that designer series paper. Okay, I should have found, let me see if I can get the host code out here. I do have my grid paper, so that's good. <laughs> there, okay. So this is our host code. If you order online, this is the code you're gonna wanna use to make sure you get credit and get everything that you deserve for your online order, the 2EH, right? 2EHG, <laughs> 34UD, I cannot read now apparently. Okay. So let's see, we are gonna do, yeah, we're gonna do this card first. I didn't show you because I wanted to kind of save it out. This card features the Garden Lane Designer Series paper. So this is another one of our retiring packs of paper from the annual catalog, the Garden Lane Designer Series paper. And I'm gonna actually show you. I brought all of my sheets of that over so you can see just a beautiful, these shades of green, and they did something, another one with shades of green in the next catalog. Um, different colors, different patterns and things. This to me is kind of like a, is it like an English garden or something, right? Super pretty. So there's one half, one side, and then flip it over and here is the other side. All of these pretty patterns of Garden Lane Designer Series paper. Beautiful, beautiful pack of paper. So you can see, did I show? There, that's the one that we're using, that paper right there on this card. I actually have a couple more to show you too. These were some swaps and things. Um, so this is another one. Hello, Miss Carolyn. And then there's this one right here and that one right there. So you can see all the beautiful projects you can make. We were loving, clearly, the Daisy Punches back then too. I think that new medium Daisy Punch that had just come out in last annual catalog, so we use that a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our stamping. I'm gonna get my sip of water, find my, what do I need, scissors and adhesive. Okay, oh, and actually I have something new to show you. So I was kind of trying to do that, show you some retiring product and then some brand new stuff. So this Just Thinking of You is a brand new stamp from the Many Mates stamp set. This one is one that you'll be able to order starting on June 3rd with the new annual catalog. Or if you're a demonstrator or you get the starter kit, you could pre-order this and get it in your starter kit right now even. So we have that Just Thinking of You, that's the sentiment I used. 
lots of awesome sentiments on here too, right? Get well soon, happy anniversary. I always need those and we don't we don't put that stamp on enough um, stamp sets, I don't think. Let's see, it's your day, happy birthday. You're just so fabulous. I like that one. <laughs> Congrats, celebrate and thanks. And you can see lots of fun fonts on there too, right? And then we've got maybe some kind of outside inside so I'm just gonna read these even though they might not make sense. They probably go with one of these up here. But we've got, so happy for you and also slightly jealous. Okay, that's kind of a funny one, right? Ah, uh, better yet, so maybe get well soon, better yet, right? Because you make me smile, you're so nice. This calls for a huge celebration on your retirement. So maybe congrats on your retirement. I'm glad you were born. <laughs> Today is all about you. Life is better with you and you totally earned it. So an awesome new stamp set, again called the Many Mates stamp set that you'll be able to order on June 3rd or again, get it in your starter kit today. Okay, so that's the stamp set that we use. Let's see, we also use the little smudgy, that one right there um, behind it from the Dressed to Impress stamp set. Okay, and we're gonna do some die cutting. So let's, uh, I'm gonna get everything out and then I'm gonna have it all in the way. I can just tell. We'll get these ink pad colors, get these guys out here, right? That one goes there, that one goes there. Okay, let's, I wanna talk about dimensions here, okay? So we start with, we are in view, right? If I pull this down, is that gonna be out of, nope, we're still good, okay. I'm trying to give myself a little more room. So this is a piece of pear pizzazz cardstock. Okay, there's your full sheet of cardstock. This time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make a tall fold to our card, okay? Then we have basically the only thing that you need measurements is for this piece of designer series paper. I agree, Susan, I think the sentiments are awesome. This piece of DSP measures two and a half by five and a quarter. And then everything else, these are all just scraps that we're gonna do stamping and die cutting on. Uh, soft sea foam and whisper white cardstock is what you need there. And again, I will give you measurements, um, product item codes, colors, everything that you need to know on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com. And the link will be attached to this Facebook Live video too. So you don't even have to search anywhere, just click the button and it takes you right there. Okay, so let's do, we're gonna do the stamping because this we're gonna cut out with our um, layering circle dies. And then we've got a couple of other dies we're gonna cut there too. Okay, so let's do our stamping on this one right here. Okay, where am I going? I'm right here, <laughs> I don't need to go anywhere. Okay, so we have soft sea foam ink. And you guys see, right, how everything coordinates. We've got our soft sea foam ink, soft sea foam cardstock. That's a hard one to say. There's kind of hints of soft sea foam in that designer series paper, right? And then I used uh, shaded spruce ink with um, shaded spruce kind of highlights in there also, okay? All right, so the beauty of stamping up and all those color coordinations, right? So we're just gonna press that little smudgy down on there. This is a great, so um, the stamp sets or the sentiments are really fun, right? And then these little smudgy things, those are always awesome to have just to kind of, you know, it just kind of added a little something to, you could have just stamped the Just Thinking of You, but kind of putting that little wash behind there just adds a little something fun. So remember that when you're like, oh, it needs a little something else. Maybe it just needs a little smudge like that. Okay. All right, then we have our shaded spruce ink. And we are gonna stamp, make sure I have this correct here. Just thinking of you, I'll put that right about there. There we go. <laughs> I love the little um, curly Q on the O there, right? Just thinking of you, and then a little underline. Super cute, like that font a lot. Okay, now we're gonna do our die cutting. We have a couple of things to cut here, so let's make sure, oops, and apparently I used that for who knows what and <laughs> didn't clean things off. Sorry, it's probably like, um, wiggling. Okay, so we have our circle. Let's see, maybe I can put that up there. That one there and that one right there. We'll see if we can get all these on and do one crank through here. All of my dies. Here we go. Okay, so these are the stitched nested labels dies we're going to use. This one is the second largest die. So largest, second largest. 
is what we're going to put on our whisper white. We don't have to do any stamping on there. Then we have our layering circle dies. We're using this one right here. So it's the one, two, three, the third smallest. This is the straight edge is what we're going to cut that piece out with. And then one more set of dies. I kind of went crazy. The painted labels dies uh, is what we're going to use here with this little piece is what we're gonna put on our soft sea foam cardstock, okay? And I will tell you guys, um, none of these are retiring. So the stitched nested labels dies continue, the poppy dies continue, and the layering circle dies. I think there's a new item code for these. They, they kind of made it sound like they're retiring, but it's just a new item code, okay? So all of those will be carrying over for us, which is fabulous. Okay, so let's make sure Mm -hmm. If I scoot that like that. So this is the only one I have to make sure. And it's the only one that's being a pain too, that's like wiggling around on me. Of course, right? There, that looks good. Okay, let's do our die cutting here. And I apologize, I'm sure there's gonna be a wiggle and I'm gonna go back and forth because that detailed squiggly one you got to get a good cut on that. So sorry, just turn your heads away for a sec. <laughs> I'll tell you when we're done wiggling, okay? <laughs> there we go. All right. So this one is easy. This will pop right off. Okay, got that guy. I love the stitching on there. Still love that one. It's not really an oldie but a goodie, but it kind of is. Okay, and then that one pops right out too, right? Okay, now this one will be a little bit more effort. We're gonna scoot this out of the way though, okay? Did I bring, oops, I didn't. <laughs> I forgot to bring my little mat, but let's see. So you wanna be, you do have to be careful. So some of these things just pop right out. We're gonna do that, right? The little holes are what are gonna help you kind of pop the die out. And I ripped one, that's why I'm telling you to just kind of be careful. You could use your brush, your die brush if you have it. I forgot to bring it over here, so we're just gonna use our paper piercing tool. And we're just gonna kind of lift that off carefully though, so that we keep it all intact, right? Isn't that fun? It's like a big swirly sun, and then it's got the stitching on it too. Love that die. I've only used it a couple times too, so it was fun to kind of break into that one for this project here. Okay, mm, where's my card? Right here. I think we are ready to put things together, right? Yeah. I think, I think. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna add some adhesive to the back of our designer series paper, okay? We're gonna put this over on the corner right here. And again, you see the pear pizzazz in this designer series paper coordinates perfectly with our pear pizzazz cardstock. We are gonna grab, this is some of the burlap ribbon, and we are just gonna kind of measure this and then adhere it behind things, okay? So it doesn't even have to come all the way together. You do want to use a good amount of adhesive. And this, because this is pretty um, sturdy, I guess I'll say. So I'm gonna put a bunch of adhesive right there and maybe right about there, okay? So we're gonna lay that down. I'm gonna press really firmly to get that on there. And then you do want to really kind of bend that so it goes right over the edge of the cardstock. And then same thing with this one, bend it and make sure it's lined up so it looks like it's straight, right? And then we're gonna press firmly again. This just kinda has a mind of its own, so you really wanna press firmly to get those down there well, okay? Next, we are gonna put some dimensionals behind this one. Let's see, good, I do have, I started using all my dimensionals and then I was afraid that I didn't have any more. Um, ooh, my first class for June. Monica, you know what? I have been thinking about it. Um, and I don't know for sure. It's um, because if I want to market it right away, it needs to be one of them that we could pre order. So I need to look at those. Um, either that or maybe that's probably what I'll do because otherwise it could take a little while for me to get everything and play with it. Um, do you have any suggestions? Is there anything that you'd love to see in a class to go in June? Um, if you know, if you've kind of seen what we've been sharing already, 
um, things that we could order in the pre-order, kind of what I'm referring to. If you have a suggestion, I would love to hear it. Or even, you know, just something out of the new catalog. And maybe I do it in June, maybe I do it in July. So we're just adding some adhesive there too. But yeah, I would love to get any suggestions that you have for what we should do for the next class to go. That'd be very fun. Okay, then we have uh, some linen thread and I'm gonna make a double bow. So I'm gonna kinda loop that as if, so I've got two. Ah, the jar set. That's what you would like to see, huh, Susan? Yeah, you know, the crazy thing is I just gave, <laughs> I just gave those away in my, um, downline meeting the other night so i'm i would i kind of shot myself in the foot on that one i will need to um wait until i can order <laughs> more because we're so limited yeah but that's a good one i could do that um it probably in well in later in june or july i guess guess what i'm thinking so yeah okay that's a good one that's a very good one okay we're just going to use a mini glue dot did you guys see sorry now i'm like chatting in that you guys kind of get the idea, right? And we're just going to pop that. Oops. Okay. Well, that's why it's not sticking because I didn't actually get the glue dot. Okay. There we go. We're just going to put that right there. Okay. And then I was looking at this. I'm like, okay, it needs just a little something else. So I went to my almost all gone. These are <laughs> the basic adhesive backed sequins. The punch is super cute. Yes, it is, Susan. I know. Now I want to do it, and like I said, I gave it all away already. That was the hard part. I wanted to get stuff into the hands of my downline members um, with the drawings that I do and giveaways and things. So that was one of them that I chose. Okay, so these are, like I said, the basic adhesive back sequins. So we've got, and I can't even tell you colors, but maybe these are kind of a tan, like a Sahara sand. You can see I have very few of these left. Um, these are maybe like the pearlescent. You can barely, I've only got two of them there, right? These are kind of a petal pink. These are a white. And then these are what I'm gonna call pear pizzazz. They might be soft sea foam. I'm not exactly sure, but I love these especially because they have the um, mini glue dots behind them. So they're very easy to work with. So I'm just gonna pop one there. I'm gonna put one maybe right about there. And then one more right down there. And that is that, I just kind of press firmly again. So these are retiring also. So if you like these, I, I love these with, like I said, and the kind of soft, subtle colors, they add just a little something without being too kind of bold. Um, oh, <laughs> Sharon, did you win them? I'm trying to remember who won them now. <laughs> well, all right, well, maybe I'll take you up on that until I can get mine ordered. That's very sweet of you, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's cute. So, okay, this is card number one, again, featuring the Garden Lane Designer Series paper and then our new Many Mates stamp set. Such a cute, like I said, I wanted to tease you guys a little bit with some new stuff and then play with some retiring things too. So, okay, let me clear things off here and we will make our next project. Okay, yep, we're good, okay. Get this one and this one. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're good, we're good. Okay, so next card, let me show you this one. I love this. This is another one, okay guys, I really, neglected. This is the Sea a Silhouette designer series paper and look at how fabulous that is, right? Okay, so I'm going to show you. I have kind of a sample of this paper. Let me make sure I said it right. Yep. Sea a Silhouette. So this is another, okay, I've got like six by 12 pieces and actually this one is the one I used here so I only have a little bit of this left but this is beautiful paper. You guys, I love this. Okay, so this is the C a Silhouette Designer Series paper. So I maybe because I might have been a little afraid because it's so like bright and bold. I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. But now that I put this on this card, I'm like, now I know what to do with it. You could do this, this card idea with any of these Designer Series papers, right? It'd be really pretty with this one right here too and, and on a blue. Uh, card base, right? Okay, so there's one side, bright, bold, kind of crazy, right? Um, and this one's pretty cool too, right? And then the other side is more of a wash. Oh, I know they're beautiful, aren't they, right? So this one is ice cream. This one is Superman ice cream melted and swirled together, <laughs> is what I think of that one. Of course, there are dimensional backings all over. So yeah, and then just really like some interesting, like, and they're all a little different too, right? So you can't 
Um, you know, this part looks different than down here kind of a thing, but interesting paper here, right? But I love, I think I, I'm going to say I really do love this side better probably, but they could work well together, right? If you use this one with that one maybe or something. So anyway, beautiful paper. It's retiring. If you neglected it like I did, get a pack of it. It's probably on sale. And yes, the colors are beautiful, aren't they, Nikki? So, okay. This card I actually cased from a swap that I received from Terry Gaines. She's one of our million dollar sales ladies, so she definitely knows what she's doing, right? So this um, idea with, can you guys see? So she cut off an inch of the card base, and then she actually embossed this. Can you see? That has the subtle, maybe you can just kind of see it, the subtle embossing folder right there on the edge. So just see that cool texture on there. Probably can't see it very well. Anyway, promise, I, I promise you, it's beautiful, right? Okay, so let's make this one. Okay, ooh, and I'm gonna highlight too. So I used the Flourishing Phrases stamp set. This is a stamp set that is retiring. I loved that, just a note. I think it's perfect, right? Just a note, just send a note to somebody. Awesome sentiments in here, right? Like, thank you so very much. With warmth and caring from me, so he made you, this must go over with one of those, and then hello, and then some beautiful imagery, and then lots more awesome sentiments. Two um, packages here, right? We, they couldn't even fit all the stamps in one. It's an 18-piece stamp set. It is a red rubber stamp set. We also have with sympathy. Words can't express just how deeply your love and support has been appreciated. Marriage is a journey. I love you. I think it more often than I say it, but I just want to make sure you know it, right? Maybe a thank you. Congratulations. Praying that your heart will be lifted by the many loving thoughts that surround you today. These are beautiful sentiments, guys. I have not used these enough. Oh my goodness. The words, I think it's because when you flip through the catalog, the words don't catch you, but like when you actually read them, Wow, that one's awesome. Comfort and healing to you. Good thing you get to bring your best friend along. That's cute for the marriage. Uh, God wanted to brighten up the world. Oh, so awesome stamp set. If you don't have this one, I would highly recommend getting it. Great sentiments and great for, you know, insides of cards when maybe you're not quite sure what to say. And those sentiments really um, are a nice touch. Okay. All right, so let's do, we've got some stamping and die cutting to do here also. And I'm pretty sure I completely misspoke the other day. I thought that the rectangle stitched dies were retiring. Again, it's just the item code number. So these are still around. We are going to use, let me show you. Oops, my hand there. It won't go in all the way. Okay, so from the wider rectangles. We're gonna use the smallest and the second smallest of those are gonna be for that right there, okay? So again, not retiring. And I will indicate when I um, put all the details on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, I'll put the word retiring next to anything that is retiring. For example, that flourishing phrase that stamps up, okay? I need that little piece, okay. Let's put this and this. Let's do... Actually, let me tell you about measurements before I forget to do that. Okay, so this started out as a full sheet. Can we do it this way? Let's go this way because I think I'll be able to say it better. Okay, so this started as a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock. Okay, step one is to cut off at one, cut one inch off, so we're gonna cut it down to seven inches, okay? So it's gonna, I'm sorry, seven and a half. Cut one inch off of eight and a half, so down to seven and a half inches here by 11 inches. That's our card stock that we're starting with, okay? So then we cut it along um, the 11 inch side in half at five and a half, and we still do our score at four and a quarter, okay? But you end up with your card base, again, that measures seven and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. Same score that I always make on an eight and a half inch at four and a quarter, okay? But we've just cut off an inch right here. So again, seven and a half instead of eight and a half for the card front, okay? Then we have our piece of designer series paper, the C a silhouette, beautiful, right? With that crazy wash on the back. 
This piece is three inches by five and a quarter inches, and that's just gonna go right on the front of the card right there, okay? I do have also a piece of Whisper White cardstock that's gonna go on the inside. This one measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? Everything else, these are just scraps to do our stamping and die cutting on. So let's do our stamping, and then that we're gonna have to do our embossing on too. Okay, so where are we going? Right here. Real red ink, and it says just a note. Okay, so we've got our nice easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. I love the little curly cue there. Ooh, <laughs> you have two orders coming today. That is awesome, Susan, yes. You are gonna have so much fun this weekend, aren't you? Okay, oops, I got red ink. I'll make sure not to get that on my white cardstock. Okay, let's do our die cutting first since this is set up to do that, okay? So again, just a scrap of real red and then a scrap of whisper white with our rectangle dies. We've got the smallest and then the second smallest stitched rectangle. Okay, those look good. All right, here we go. Sorry about the wiggle, ladies. In a moment, we'll be through this, okay? Now, actually, I need the other platform. I'm gonna get this right on here so it's ready to go to do our embossing. Okay. All right, so I just popped those both out. We've got our little stitched rectangles. We've got both of those ready to go. And here's my, okay. I was like, where's my subtle embossing folder? And this is how we're gonna do this, right? Wow, talk about crafter math around here, ladies. Okay, so we just want to, and I just eyeballed it. So you figure, oops, you wanna have about an inch in here, and you're just gonna kinda, and then you just wanna make sure it's straight, right? So it's not super crooked in there, and that's all you're gonna do. And then you're just gonna lay this right down on here, and then I've got my one clear, piece on top and then we are going to do the embossing just kind of on the edge of our whisper white cardstock okay and I was oops I got I was kind of worried about that line on there but it really isn't so bothersome and one side maybe is even better than the other side so yeah I thought maybe it would make like a huge kind of crumpled mess but it really doesn't so just so you know that too okay all right, so simple card. We can go ahead and start putting things together now, okay? All right, so that's going to go right inside there like that. So we're going to add our adhesive, all right? All right, pop that one on. Okay, so that one goes there, and then we're going to add our designer series paper. So you can see, you don't have to do anything super fancy. The um, designer series paper really kind of speaks for itself on this card, I think, right? But just kind of that fun little layout right there. Just a little something different. Another little, it's almost a fun fold, right? <laughs> if you want to say that. Okay, so we're going to put that one right on there. And then just make sure you don't get adhesive too far over on this edge because you want to be able to lift your card up and open, right? So we're going to press firmly there. And then I had to, so I'm pretty sure, um, and you see a little bit more here, this is probably crushed curry, but our brand new Bumblebee Twill Ribbon works perfectly on this card as well. So I had to tease you guys with this ribbon too. So we'll make a little bow with this and add this in the corner. And that's all we're going to do for this card because again, like I said, that see a silhouette designer series paper really does all of the work for us on this card, okay? Gonna, did I get? Nope, I didn't quite get the glue dot there. There we go. Just gonna put that right there. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna trim that, trim that down just a little bit. And there we go. Just a no, oops, I'm always like way up here, aren't I? Where is the camera? I'm too busy looking at it myself, not where can you guys see it. Sorry. <laughs> so, okay. So those are our two cards for this week. Again, featuring the retiring, lots and lots of retiring designer series paper, right? 
Okay, so quick recap. I always love to do this at the end so you guys make sure that you know, right, if you put your online order in of at least $30, you're gonna get the make and takes or completed cards, whichever you like, both of these cards. Your name is gonna go in the drawing next Friday to win the Brights Designer Series paper pack, right? And if you bump your order up to over $50, you also get to choose from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or a free package of pearls, okay? So thank you guys so much for watching. It is Memorial Weekend, I just remembered that. We normally have something really fun called the Highland Festival here in Alma. It's kind of the kickoff to summer. Um, and there are lots of like Highland dancing and bagpipes and Sharon, if you're still on here, I know you're probably really lamenting the fact that we're not able to have the festival because her granddaughter is a Highland dancer. Uh, so yeah, anyway, it's just kind of, it's kind of, um, a little bit sad that we're not able to have that this, this year. It's the first year, I don't know, in like a hundred years or something we haven't, maybe 50. I don't know. It's been a lot of years. So Anyway, um, yeah, I'm just uh, yeah thinking about that and hoping you guys have a great weekend. Sharon's got a little shedding a tear there, I know, yeah. So we'll find something else fun to do for Memorial Weekend this weekend, right? So I hope you guys have a great Memorial Weekend, a great holiday long weekend, <laughs> right? Even though most of us are off from work anyway. Um, but yeah, have a great weekend and we will see you right back here next Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time, okay? Bye everybody, thank you.